Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. This metal is about to explode, and here's why. Let's explore! Ah, yes, the cornucopia. The famed image that we recognize from Pam Suisse, you can see it on various, pretty much all the different bars that they uh, release for all the metals. You can get uh, the Pam Suisse bars and all the metals, including rhodium, although those are very hard to come by these days. I missed my opportunity to get one of those. I wish I had. Nonetheless, uh, you can probably, maybe, perhaps, guess what metal this is just by looking at it, but also... Uh, by inferring what's happening in the world today and where this metal is produced. Indeed, that's right. Well, in case you haven't figured it out by now, by the hue of this particular metal, it is palladium. Although I think platinum will be affected as well from this news that just broke today. That's right. Palladium is going up. It will go up because of what the London Platinum and Palladium market had just announced. Yes, indeed. Due to the events taking place in Ukraine, the management committee of the LPPM has reviewed its good delivery lists. It has decided with immediate effect to suspend the following government-owned Russian refiners from the LPPM's Platinum and Palladium good delivery and sponge accreditation list. Joint stock company, the Golidov Krasnoyarsk Yarsk Non Ferrous Metals Plant, Krastavetmet, Joint Stock Company, Piorsky Plant of Non Ferrous Metals, PZCM. These two refiners will no longer be accepted for LPPM good delivery into the London Zurich bullion market until further notice. Following the suspension and transfer of the former list, the bars, that the refiners produce whilst on the list will still be considered good delivery. Bars and sponges produced after the 8th of April 2022, which is the day of recording of this video, will no longer be regarded as good delivery or sponge accredited. It will be the responsibility of the receiver to prove whether these bars or sponges were manufactured before this date. Uh, so. So the receiver, that is pretty interesting. So how will they be able to tell that? Well, some, some of these bars have dates on them. In fact, uh, you know, you can see this bar here um, doesn't, unless that's a date there, scratch on the side, but it looks like that's 103.65. It doesn't look like that's a date. And maybe you can tell by serial numbers. Who knows? But nonetheless, some of these other bars, they don't have dates on them. So the serial numbers and maybe keeping a list with the serial numbers of when they were produced might be one of the other things. So if we look at a story here from FinancialPost.com that goes in a little bit more detail on this. A London platinum and palladium market <clears throat> has said it will block Russian refineries from selling the two metals in the London market, which is the world's largest due to the situation in Ukraine, adding to a growing list of measures against Russian interests. The two metals are chiefly used by automakers who embed them in vehicle exhaust to reduce harmful emissions. Platinum is also used in other industries in jewelry and for investment. Russia produces around 10% of the world's platinum supply in between 25% and 30% of its palladium supply. So both metals are going to be affected by this. I think both will go up. Platinum up 1%, palladium up 8% earlier in the day. We'll take a look at the prices here because they have snapped up a bit um, already. And I think they're going to go all anywhere but down <laughs> in the coming weeks as things continue to press on in Ukraine. The LPPM said in a statement on Friday, its management committee had reviewed its list of accredited good delivery refiners due to events taking place in Ukraine. It said it would suspend with immediate effect both Russian refiners it accredits, JSC um, Krastvetmet and the Piorsky plant of non-ferrous metals. The, the decision means platinum and palladium produced by these refiners 
after April 8th is barred from in trading in London. Products they made before losing their accreditation remains eligible to trade on the LPPM. The London Bullion Market Association, a trade group similar to the LPPM, suspended Russian gold refineries from its good delivery list in early March, uh, effectively blocking new Russian gold and silver from trading. The LPPM statement did not draw a direct link between its decision and the increasing array of sanctions against Russia introduced by Western powers following the invasion, which Russia describes as a special military operation. Yes, indeed. The European Union, for instance, on Friday formally adopted its fifth package of sanctions, including bans on the import of coal, wood, chemicals, and other products. EU governments have also frozen about $30 billion of assets linked to oligarchs and other sanctioned people with ties to the Kremlin. So the squeeze is on there, and uh, but without platinum and palladium, at least from those markets, which are big markets in Russia, and that means these metals are going to continue to rise. A spokesperson for the LPPM declined further comment on reasons for its decision beyond what was in the statement and what is evident for sure. In fact, looking at the price of today, they have reacted strongly, um, although I wouldn't say they just skyrocketed immediately. You know, because it's not terribly unusual to see over an 8% rise in palladium. This is pretty volatile anyway. But we know why it rose today. It is over 8%, over right at $178 um, in the increase in spot price today, as I record this video. And platinum is up 1.35%, uh, up $13. Notably less, but nonetheless... I believe this is going to solidify platinum's uh, probably bottom or its resistant point, probably at around $1,000 an ounce is my guess. It's a good thing that I may put a coin on layaway with a bullion dealer that I see from time to time, a platinum coin. Glad I did it now, that's for sure. I think uh, platinum is going to rise up too. I've always thought platinum was undervalued. I've been bullish on the metal for several years, although it's not really broken out. Many people kind of frustrated with platinum as well, too, as silver. Platinum and silver seem to be the low men on the totem pole here in the precious metal space. Uh, relatively unloved in terms of um, their price performance in, in this area. Um, but nonetheless, silver's premiums are trading very, very high. The highest of all the metals, platinum's premiums, are still averaging about 100 and some odd dollars an ounce above or uh, hundred dollars above spot per ounce but i believe we're going to see palladium if this does continue unless there is increased production in south africa whereas where other palladium mining is and maybe even in north america uh, have to be a pretty massive increase which i doubt is going to happen there's going to be a deficit and uh, because of how these markets are and it's much more tight and narrow market for palladium, we're going to probably see the price reach record highs yet again, or at least get back up in that range again in the near future because of what's going on in Ukraine. So far, Russia shows no sign of slowing down and does not care about the atrocities that are occurring in its wake, and uh, likely uh, they will continue to press on probably having some contingency plans. Again, one say what you want about Putin, but he is a smart man is prepared for this. My likely is he has got um, some still some things in his belt and is certainly working to position the ruble and their gold reserves. Um, and this is yet another blow, but relatively minor one for Russia, but for the um, auto industry, it's going to be uh, it's going to put a hurting on the auto industry. And for those of you who have stacked palladium, <clears throat> well, uh, be proud and be glad that you did. And because I believe we're going to see the price rise another probably $600 at least um, to reach those highs again, those all time highs that we saw before. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. But nonetheless, that is the reason why, because Russia is a major producer of palladium, and we're going to see no more of it. 
uh, coming into the London market. Let me know what your thoughts are below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.